Our second major PlayStation 5 system software update is rolling out globally alongside new features coming for PlayStation app, the PS Remote Play app, and PlayStation 4. Here are eight things you need to know. The new PlayStation 5 system software update lets you customize the control center more freely by rearranging or choosing which controls to hide or unhide at the bottom of the screen. You can now easily view and write messages to friends and parties directly from game base in the control center. You can also see how many of your friends are online, busy, or offline under the Friends tab in GameBase, as well as accept, decline, or cancel multiple friend requests at once. On both PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, you now have the ability as a party owner to disband a party without having to remove players individually. If you have different platform versions of the same game installed, they'll now appear separately in the Installed tab of the game library and on the home screen. Each game's tile now clearly indicates its platform. If you're streaming games through PlayStation Now, you can now choose between 720p or 1080p, depending on the individual game, to select your preferred video resolution. And a new streaming connection test helps you identify and troubleshoot connection issues. The new update also adds 3D audio support for built-in TV speakers. Once enabled in the sound menu, this feature transforms standard two-channel TV speaker audio into three-dimensional sound, heightening the sense of gameplay immersion. You can measure the acoustics of your room using the microphone on the DualSense wireless controller to apply the 3D audio setting that's optimized for your room. The new update includes the ability to expand storage capacity with an M.2 SSD. Once installed, an M.2 SSD lets you store and play PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 games, as well as media apps directly from the expanded high-speed storage. You can also freely move games between storage options. M.2 SSDs for PlayStation 5 must meet certain performance and size requirements and be paired with a compatible cooling structure such as a heatsink, so be sure to check out the link in the description for details. In addition to these PlayStation 5 updates, we're introducing some new features for the PS Remote Play app and PlayStation app. You now have the option of using a mobile data connection when playing games through the PS Remote Play app, whether the app is connected to a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 console. This means you can control your console remotely whenever you have a high-speed internet connection using either mobile data or Wi-Fi. To help manage the amount of data used through a mobile connection, you can select your preferred video quality for mobile data streaming. Check out the blog post linked in the description for details on internet speed requirements. If you're a PlayStation app user, you'll soon be able to view your friend's share screen broadcasts on the app, enabling you to chat and watch your friend's gameplay together. To start, join a party voice chat from your mobile device with a friend who's playing on PlayStation 5. We're just scratching the surface of the new updates, so check them out and let us know what you think. PlayStation.